Good morning, how you guys doing? So, I just got up. It took me forever to get up. I was in so much pain. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. And I'm just tired of being in pain and uh, taking pain medication um, because that stuff affects your, your system eventually. So, um, I'm gonna go feed my animals and then I have this plant in my yard and I know for sure I've seen many many videos on it and read a lot about it it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory it helps with so much it has a lot of vitamins and antioxidants in it so I have this plant in my yard and I've been putting off doing it because it makes me nervous because it's kind of hard to get around it, but we're gonna do it today. Okay, guys, so I got me a bag right there. I had to put a rock on it. It's so windy out here. So you see this cactus plant right here. Now you still have to get like, they still have, see the spikes on them? It's not as much as the, um, the cactus paddles do, but is ways you can get that off. You can use a strainer and just run water over it and they should start floating up to the top. Or some people use a lighter and singe it and singe it off. So in case you couldn't see, I do have my work glove on because I'm about to get a paddle. And with the paddles, is um, you don't want to get the ones at the bottom you kind of want to get all of mine look the same color like I was looking for a darker color one but all of mine look the same color so I'm gonna get this paddle right here and probably this one right here and when you're getting the spines out and mainly because I don't see as many of the spikes on those and the, you want to get ones that has less on it, but all you're going to do is do this to it, just like that, and scrape any fine spikes and bigger thorns off. And then for the edges, you just slice around it like that. So let me try to get this off. And I'm trying to record. Oh, it broke right off. I didn't even have to cut it. I know it was ready. So this is one. We're gonna put that in the bag also. I don't I don't need the rock to hold my bag now. That, it's so windy out here. It's freezing temps this week. Let's see if this one will break off without me having to cut it. Oh yeah. So I don't think I need but two of those. I want to get a few more of these. So I want to show you this one. See the spines on there? Okay, so what I'm dealing with now is not touching it. It smells really good, you guys. So I'm just gonna take these out. As you can see, they have little, little pricklies on them. So I'm going to put these into my pan, well, my strainer. So like I said, some people use a lighter and they singe it off. I'm going to use the water, a warm water, and I'm going to use my scrub brush to try to get them. As I do it, I'm going to try to put them into another bowl. Also, if this is something that you want to do, but you don't have this in your yard or anyone you know have one, you can always go to a Mexican grocery store. They have plenty of them, Once and you, you don't like have you to clean them off your hand, 
they're already clean then for just you. Go over it. Which you're gonna peel all of this off. I'm peeling the skins off, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting as much of this off as possible while handling it. So I realized as I was cleaning them, a better way for me to hold them while I was cleaning them was either to let it press down onto the bin or to grab it at the top and the bottom and scrub like this. So now that we have them, I want to taste them, you guys. So I'm going to slice this up and taste it fresh so i'll know how i'm going to sweeten it because the whole purpose of me even doing it is for the health benefits so i don't want to i see some people make um a jelly or a jam but that calls for sugars you know when you're making jellies and jams you got to put a lot of sugar i don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is slice the top piece off Smells good. See the inside. And then slice the bottom piece off. And let you see it. Close up. Looks like a beet, doesn't it? It smells really good. So now you slice into the skin straight across like that. And then you should be able to peel it back. I didn't boil these first. Some people boil theirs first. I didn't do that. And then you just peel it back. I'm gonna cut this side too. Could be by knife. I should have used a different knife. But it peels right off. Just like that. The skins I'm putting into the pot because I'm going to add water and put them on a nice little simmer. If you don't have anything to do, I would say do them without using gloves. But if you got something to do, <laughs> you might want to put some gloves on, you guys. So... What I have here, these are the skins in here and some have a little meat on them too. So I'm gonna add some water to this and we're gonna get the, the nutrients out of these skins. We're not gonna let them go to waste before we give them to the uh, birds. So I'm gonna bring those to a boil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if my juicer will actually sift out these seeds in here and put them with the gunk and give me the actual juice. So we're gonna do that together. So because I heard how <laughs> this stains, I have some paper towels down. So this comes up and you just feed this into here. I'm gonna start with just a handful. We're going to go on high. And I honestly could hear the, the seeds hitting over here, so I think it might be working, you guys. take this out because these seeds right here these seeds are popping out like look at my hands you guys these seeds are popping out like
popcorn like hitting me in my head. So let's fill it up again. And it's jamming up this part right here. But I don't think the seeds are going into the juice and that's what I wanted. So I may have to pick more. Okay. Ooh, my hands. My hands. This is my pot with the the actual um, skins. So I'm going to I'm going to put some in here. Let's turn it on first. So out of all the videos I've seen people do this, honestly, I think my way is the easier way of doing it. And plus, I don't even have to boil them. I can just put the whole fruit in there. So this is how much juice and that white stuff is just foam. You drink that too. When I'm juicing, I drink it. Um, you can also add to your prickly pear by adding um, juicing pineapple which also has great health benefits in it or coconut or anything that is a healthier fruit i would probably do pineapple but for the sake of knowing the benefit of just this by itself i won't do that today but the next time i will so what i'm going to do is i have a bowl here for my mixer and in this pot is what I didn't bring to a boil, but I just got it hot enough where it could get some of the juices out of those peelings. So I'm going to strain it into this bowl. That way, if there's any seeds, which there are, you can see here, there are seeds in there, but there aren't any in my bowl now and I'm going to pour this in and strain it as well just to make sure there are no seeds it's just the pulp that's a good bit amount of juice right there and I'm just straining it so if there's any seeds mixed in with it I'm not getting it in there. And you see that slime? If you don't want that slime, you can stop at that point, which I will. Because cactus, the Napoles also gives the, you know, the cactus leaves also gives out the, um, the slime in it, kind of like an okra type thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not now, at this point, you can actually make jellies and jams and you would just add pectin, you would add sugar, I'm not doing that. I want the natural benefits of this without that. You can also turn this into a refreshing drink because it does have a lot of, um, if you add a little bit of salt to it you, it, you can use it as a electrolyte. So many different things I saw people doing with it. So the options are just out there for you to do. Me personally, I need it for health benefits. I need to feel better. I need to be able to have energy. I need my husband to feel better um, and to be able to work. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to jar it up into uh, mason jars, not adding sugar, not adding anything. Now you can add like a, if you want to add a sugar, which I tasted that one and that one that wasn't even all the way right was still sweet. So I don't see the need to add sugar to it. 
or anything, but if you want to add honey instead of sugar or some kind of sweetener, you can. Um, I'm gonna leave it as is that way. If I choose to turn it into a cocktail drink and add a little liqueur to it um, and have a drink with my husband, then that's what I'll do. But for now, we're gonna do it like this and he'll have a jar to take with him on the road. He just needs to keep it in the refrigerator in his uh, big rig truck. So I'm gonna get it poured up. And right, right now, you know, cause going through the juicer, it makes it warm. So these will definitely get stuck into the refrigerator and make sure I pour his first. Look at that. That is so pretty. And you just shake it up before you drink it. And you don't have to drink all of this. I'm not, just because I'm putting it in pints and quarts, don't mean you have to drink the whole thing. You could drink half of it. You could drink out of this one jar three times a day um, before your meals. Because the benefits of these things, oh my gosh. The benefit's amazing. The Napoles, the cactus plant itself, the cactus pad has so many benefits as well as the um, the fruit. I gotta get a thumbnail, you guys. So I gotta go get some more fruit and put them up there. But the fruit, the, the prickly, I can never say it. The prickly pear fruit has so many benefits. I'm only gonna name a few. You can look up the rest yourself. It's, Good to for controlling your diabetes, inflammatory, high blood pressure, um, liver, cholesterol. It has a lot of antioxidants in it. Um, and I, this is like benefits for the cactus pad and the uh, prickly pear fruit that I'm giving you. Benefits as far as weight loss, your heart health, it boosts your immune system, like I said, anti-inflammatory, that's my major thing, um, and cholesterol. Vitamins, so many different vitamins. It helps your digestion because it is a fiber, it is a dietary fiber. So you need that to help move things and keep your body, <laughs> you know, good. Because if you're backed up or you're going too much, you, I don't want to get all into that. Anyway. It's good for that. So it's also um, low in saturated fats. It has, um, it builds healthy muscle gain. It's good for arthritis. It's a great glucose regulator, okay? So you guys, this is, if you have this growing in your yard, make sure it's the right one, that there is one out there that you, it does have benefits, but it's and it's medicinal, but it could cause hallucination. Okay, so um, cactus pads, the uh, Nepalis, and then the prickly pear fruit with it. These are all things that have been used for centuries by Native Americans, by Hispanic. Americans or well, Hispanic, they grew up with this. This is what they did. Um, so anyway, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get my thumbnail and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out, try it yourself. It's not difficult, and I will do a video of me doing the cactus pad. I just wanted to do that separate. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do that separate because that's a whole process. I'll let my husband taste it, 
And he wants his, I guess, a little bit sweeter. So, this is better than, honey is better than adding sugar to it. Even though, you know, honey can be sweet too. So, I'm going to do about two tablespoons in his and stir it up. And then in mine, I'm just going to do one because my, my jar is smaller. But to each of them, I'm going to add real lemon juice, not the cut lemon because the acidity levels are not the same in each one. So I'm going to do a half a tablespoon in each. Lemon also has healing properties as well. So what he'll do is he will pour some of his out into a separate cup and um, add a little water to it because he doesn't like the thickness of it. Shake it up. So the three that I used for my thumbnail, I decided to just go ahead and eat them. Really tasty. So I forgot to show you, I poured the pulp out this is the gunk that came out of the other end of the juicer that I use. And the juicer, if you're wondering, is a Breville right here. I will leave a link in the description box if you want to purchase one for yourself. You can use my link. And um, you guys, it's a great juicer. Otherwise, you will be left mushing this down to try to get the juice out of it. This was less mess, okay? I did have some mess, but less mess and less time consuming. I gave the chickens the pulp and they love it. I don't know why they all crowd around that one like there's not another one right there next to them. Oh, wow. She even ate the skin of it. That's good to know. I'm going to have some healthy chickens.